So bomb club is king e7. Yeah, play, let's play the king e7. Let's see if uh, Akmina from Argentina can do so. I uh, guess I'll play d5, start to close up the position. Hi, Amrin Taj. Good to see you again. Play b6. Yeah, this position looks acceptable for black because my king is pretty safe in the center. Uh, he can play c4. I thought I could just take that and then play bishop b7 or something. Nice to turn queen d7. Just play the lousy cat. <laughs> Let's see. Did anyone win? Oh, so Kramnik drew today. Yeah, I did check out Kramnik's match with Fishy yesterday. But there's no there's no castling position. There's no castling chess. It's very weird. Yeah, I think both players prepared and they realized that the English is the best opening uh, in no casting chess. Uh, what languages do I know? I only know English and Tagalog, which is the Filipino language. I guess night takes, night takes. My bishop on b7 is very good. <laughs> Why did I lose to Magnus? Because he's very good. <laughs> C6. I'm on the list. Yes, uh, you are on the list. Takes, takes. I think, yeah, you're on the list. I think Jup should uh, be on the list too. What if in the World Cup everyone gets COVID? Then they're going to have to postpone the tournament. But I don't think everyone can get the COVID. Like, it's impossible. Maybe only a few players. And I think, to be fair, COVID is maybe not that lethal. But at the same time, you could get very sick having COVID. So, I think at this point, having... 200, 300 players uh, in the same room, even if it's a big room, maybe not very realistic. How can I be on the list? Just challenge me and then type your name on the chat and then I'll see. I can. Queen D2 looks bad. Play Bishop E7. I think. Why should I play the e6? What do you think of Daniel Dubov? Well, Daniel Dubov is an amazing player. Uh, I think he is very good. He's got a lot of opening ideas. He knows how to work well with Alpha Zero, very well with chess engines. Uh, and uh, Daniel plays chess without any fear. Um, so he can play uncompromising chess. I and mean, he's got a lot of ideas, uh, really, in, in, in the opening. And I think he's one of the players who prefers activity over material. So yeah, he's a very good, he's, a, he's got a lot of promise and uh, He's a very nice guy. I, I, I've chatted with him before in White Country. And uh, yeah, he's a good person to be around with. Uh, I'm going to play G4, no, C5, nope. Just play H5, put some pressure. Must add Bogues to the list. Yeah, hopefully Bogues you. Last a bit longer today. Six G four. 
Let's talk classics. Who do you like more, Capablanca or Petrosian? The world champ. I think I like Capablanca more than than Tigran Petrosian. My favorite player is uh, well. It's hard to say who my favorite player. I guess my favorite player is Anatoly Karpov. I just like the way he plays chess. Uh, but obviously, Bobby Fischer is a close second. And Gary is amazing, of course. Uh, I, I, I think Capablanca or Petrosian, I think Capablanca has a lot, a lot more talent. He can play the game very fluidly. Uh, he knows where the pieces belong. Uh, but of course, they're from two completely different generations. And Tigran Petrosian has more of a prophylactic style. Um, I don't think I know enough of Petrosian's games to comment exactly on how he plays. King of three, rook h2. Takes d4. Okay, I'll just try to flag my opponent. Yeah, so the bomb cloud worked well. 